this is the first time a clip-on contact microphone or a stick-on contact microphone has been used to record uh, insect feeding sounds. But the key piece for this invention is not just how do we put the parts together, but how do we interpret those sounds that we're picking up on as specific insects and specific insect feeding activities. Hi, I'm Leah Hammond, Senior Intellectual Property Manager at Wharf. I had the pleasure of working with today's Innovation Award nominee to patent their invention. If you are part of UW Madison and have an invention to disclose, contact me directly or feel free to follow the information on the screen and in the description below. And now stay tuned for more information about our nominee. I'm Dr. Emily Bick. I'm the Assistant Professor of Precision Pest Ecology for Field and Forage Crops in the Department of Entomology here at University of Wisconsin-Madison. Insects are really hard to detect. Oftentimes they require an extreme amount of both labor uh, as well as uh, time, but mostly we're talking about economically damaging insect pests. Right, I'm using pests, that means it causes enough economic injury that the, the farmer or the grower actually has to take an action. But knowing when to take that action is really difficult uh, because it's relying on data. And either the data's historic data that relies on weather and climate, which might be changing, uh, and these pests might not show up year after year, uh, or it relies on that direct detection. So for instance, for a stem boring insect like European corn borer uh, or soybean borer, we basically have to take a, a butcher's knife to a field, cut open a plant, destruct that crop to figure out what pest is inside. Uh, to figure out if a pest is chewing on the roots. We're talking about either corn rootworm, of which there are four really problematic species, or something like wireworm, uh, which are both are widespread major economic pests across a whole range of cropping systems. Uh, you actually have to either dig up the plant and look for the adults directly, or dig up the plant and looking for feeding damage to figure out if that insect is there or not. So we figured we might as well try to directly measure, non-destructively, if those insects were there. So the invention is the insect eavesdropper. It's basically a clip-on contact microphone that's able to hear insect feeding sounds. Basically, this, this piece of metal comes into contact with a plant and it vibrates when that plant vibrates. So it's not hearing open air waves, which really eliminates noise from things like rain and wind and hail and other kind of weather conditions that might affect the plant. And instead, it's eavesdropping, hence the insect eavesdropper, on those actual chewing sounds as heard through the plant vibrations. From these record recordings, we're able to pull out exactly that time of of biting. From those sounds, we can train, we can pre-process it and train machine learning algorithms, not just to detect presence and absence, but also to differentiate these species. So someone like me can actually put all of these pieces together and take all of these parts, which were not designed to study insects in agriculture, put them together in a way that's really useful and potentially very impactful for farmers. And the big problem we're working on right now is can we tell the density? Can we tell how many insects are in that plant chewing on that system? This really helps for decision making, uh, trying to meet something called an economic threshold, a threshold of when a farmer or a consultant wants to actually take an action to control that insect. And better data means better decisions, hopefully means less pesticide sprayed. It is extremely multidisciplinary. I think half my students are computer scientists and half of them are entomologists. We are getting a large grant from the WARF, the Wisconsin Alumni Research Foundation, to help unwire the insect eavesdropper, right? So instead of having a lot of strings going on in a cornfield, which, let me tell you, are a bit of a mess, uh, we can actually have these clip-on microphones that either are remotely transmitting or ones that can stick to your cell phone that are paired with an app where all of that uh, machine learning training happens um, in the application and people can be walking around and doing this instantaneous detection. It is 
part of my job to actually help people, to directly help growers and the people that are having these direct insect problems. And, you know, we think we're about two years away of putting this exact device in the hands of the people that could really use it. Hi, I'm Emily Bauer, Director of Licensing at Wharf. If you like what you've heard and want to learn more about this high potential technology, please get in touch using the information on your screen and in the description below. And don't forget to like and subscribe for more great videos from Wharf.